It can. I reckon them tights belong to the drag artists. Oh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> Where's some of my friends giggling all the time? Well, it's better than fighting, isn't it? Ooh, here. I'm in the A-team, and I'm in the team. Get that with your shower? Here, you see. Sue don't want to play no more dark. She says it only causes trouble. Oh, she did, did she? So here I am, and I don't mind, Angie. I don't care if you are a drunk driver. Cheers. Oh, Willie and me is going to start our training. Look, are you a friend of Dad's? Well, if you're from the brewery, why can't he phone back? <laughs> good news, good news. Here, Sue won't play darts with Angie anymore because she says she's a bad influence. And I'm the reserve. Oh, gangway, gangway. Right upstairs, this is long overdue. This woman from the brewery phone. Not now, Princess, just grab your dinner like a good girl and see you and your mum upstairs. Who's he all of a sudden? Headmaster? Come on! Hello? Yes, I know. Look, I can't talk. I'm in the middle of a crisis at the moment. Look, don't say that, please. My whole world's crumbling here. Just let me get it sorted. I said, let me get it sorted. OK, OK, I'm sorry I shared. I, I do want to be there, and I do love you, Jan. Just, just... Sharon! Oh, look, I'm gonna Sharon, come upstairs. Your dad wants to talk. What's the matter? He just wants to talk. Oh, look like he's seen a ghost. I'm imagining things. Hurry up, troops. Yes, sir. Is that all you want to eat, darling? Yes, come on, Princess. We can't have you getting ill. Do I look like I'm going to be ill? Right, uh, what I want to talk about is this pub and our life in it. Upstairs and downstairs. We've got to put on a united front. The customers have got to believe they're drinking in their own homes. Now, yeah, I don't blame you, Mum. She's been going through a bad patch. She's been a little bit silly, but uh, she's not a criminal. Of course she's not. Who said she was? Well, obviously, the customers have been reading their newspapers. I can't stop them doing that. And no matter what they think of your mum, we mustn't discuss it down there with them. We mustn't rise to any cheap cracks. It's got to be water off a duck's back. Yeah. No matter how many times the little beggar gets drowned, it's just got to run off, hasn't it? That's not fair. Of course not, but that's a pub game. And your mum knows I'm behind her all the way. Is that it? No. The arguments have got to stop. Oh, pull the other one, Dad. Down there, we've got to be one happy family. And up here, it's arguments as usual. No, I think we've got over that. And if we can get it right downstairs, then who knows? We might be able to get it right up here. Pigs will fly. Sharon, your mum and I are trying. It's taken your mum to do something silly to bring us closer together. Well, aren't you going to say anything, Mum? Seems to me your dad's doing all the talking, darling. And I don't want you down there behind the bar. And I don't want you dressing like a tart. You're a school kid and you're going to look like a school kid. Michelle's still at school and she's pregnant. Sharon, please be told. Now, if we're going to discuss anything, we discuss it up here. There's enough staff down there to cover for us. And what was that you said earlier about taxes? Now, those sort of remarks are definitely out. That customer could have been from the Inland Revenue. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Dan. What have you done to her? Nothing. I'm just taking my responsibilities seriously. There's a lot at stake. Yeah, the taking's in the pub. Is that all this means to you? Now, isn't it better the fact we're not shouting at each other, we're sitting around the table like a proper family agreeing about things? But Mum hasn't said a word. That's because she agrees with me. Well, some it's up. She looks like death warmed up. I'm still here, darling. I'm not a corpse yet. There you are, you see. Now, I'm going back downstairs and I want you both down there giving the customers what they want. 